Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how can we create a chatbot in Oracle Apex. First let me explain you about the chatbot and what are the facilities are available in that chatbot. In the right down corner you can able to see one blinking icon. When the user clicks that icon our chatbot will open up. So I am just going to click that icon. Now you can able to see the chatbot is open up ok so uh, it will give you some introduction and it also give you some basic uh, predefined topics so in this chatbot I have designed the way like one is for static manner and second is for dynamic manner so static manner is nothing but uh, we have feeded some static informations based on the topic it will fetch the data and bring it to you and dynamic manner is nothing but when you are searching for any other topic it will check the database and it will retrieve the data from the database and show you the results ok so for example I am just going to click the employee details this is the topic I have created when you click the employee details kindly let me know which below employee details that you want to know under employee details I have created three subtopics like uh, three highest salary, lowest salary and total employees. I am going to click the total employees. So when I click that, it will check the database how many employees are available in that EMP table. Total employees count is 14. Okay. So I am going to close this chatbot. This is my employee table. So now you can able to see total count is 14. So what I am going to do like I am going to add two more rows. Click save. So now our total count is 15 ok again I am just going to query the chatbot so again I am just going to click the total employees in the EMP table total employees count is 15 so it will hit the database and check for the results ok so now I am just going for the some st uh, static topics for example here I am just going to uh, click good morning or good evening good evening have a wonderful evening ok so uh, when the user types some topics uh, that uh, answer from the chatbot has been already configured uh, in our objects ok uh, this is the basic uh, functionality of this chatbot and also I just want to add some more features into that like showing some charts and also that if the user wants to download the report and all so for example I am just going to click the sample charts so here kindly find the below sample chart list so one is for combo chart and pie chart so he, here I just use some google charts to display in the uh, page so I am going to click the combo chart so you can able to see the combo chart ok I am going to click the pie chart so you can able to see the pie chart so likewise we can able to add more, more number of charts according to the topic ok and uh, second thing is I just want to uh, bring another feature called download uh, formats for example What are you keen to know more about? I am going to click the uh, customer details. Ok. So the customer details are saved as sample report. Ok. So here uh, what I am going to do like I am going to click the sample report. Please click the link to download sample report. Ok. So when the user clicks the download button. Uh, uh, some data has already has been saved in one kind of uh, CSV format 
in the shared components or in other some other pages i am going to call that uh, report as in the csv format so i am going to click the download so we are going to click save and you can able to see the report as a excel format okay So these are the functionalities I have added here uh, and also I am just planning to add some kind of uh, search facilities or filter options in say the chatbot in future. Okay. So these are the uh, functionalities of uh, chatbot. Uh, now I am going to explain how I achieved this. Okay. Uh, first thing is I just created uh, two objects. One is for storing the or uh, it's like of a setup uh, object and another is object is called uh, to display the informations based on the uh, user inputs okay so let me explain you about the configuration so i am going to click the chatbot input so this is my object okay it's nothing but a very straightforward simple uh, report and form okay so here what i am i am doing like i just created some topics okay for example uh, employee details correct so under employee details i have created these kind of topics okay for that i just created one screen okay so here you can able to type your topic name and you can you, ha you have to select whether it is a dynamic one or static and if you want to assign it to under any parent topic you can able to assign it here okay if if you want if you want to consider this as a standalone topic you can able to do like this okay so likewise you can able to feed more informations so based on the particular object i am retrieving the informations and showing in into the chatbot here okay uh, this is the first design and uh, second thing is uh, in this chatbot, you can able to see three type of things. First thing is uh, the user can able to type some kind of text here and they can able to click the keyboard enter button. So this is, that is the first action and the second input action will be the user has to type something here and they can able to click the send button. Okay. And third option will be the user can able to see the informations and they can able to click here and, and retrieve the results. So these are the three things uh, which are available in this chatbot. Okay. Uh, so technically let me explain you about that. How I achieve this. It's a very simple process. Uh, I never used uh, it's a complicated or some kind of JavaScripts. I never use that. It's a very simple and I have used uh, minimal CSS and basic JavaScripts. Okay. Uh, and also more uh, inbuilt components provided by Oracle Apex. Okay. So, okay. First thing is I just created one uh, inline dialog in the same page. Okay. So this is my inline dialog. Okay. So here what I did is like you can able to see like inline dialog using the CSS classes I can able to control the height and width of this model dialog. Okay. So this is my basic button. Okay. So I just added some CSS to use the float to show in the right down corner for the blink I have used some CSS. Okay. And also when the user clicks here I just open the dialog okay so that is the basic thing we are uh, usually follow that second thing is inside the chatbot okay like you here you can able to see some informations right like uh, what are you keen about that and sample charts everything right so this is a basic classic report so for example let me click that this is a classic report this is my sql query very simple sql query okay and uh, I have added some little bit CSS to show like this. Okay. 
and third thing is this is the major factor like i have created some dynamic actions okay for example i initially i told like uh, right so by the way of uh, uh, typing enter or clicking the send button or else type inside the chatbot correct so for these facilities i have created uh, dynamic actions for different things for example let me tell you that on click of uh, uh, send button so here i just called some uh, processes and all i have called some javascript codes and do the, do, do those things and uh, one challenge i have faced here is like for example when you are search something for example i am just clicking the uh, department details okay so automatically the scroll bar will please let me know which below oh, department sorry. details that you want to know so automatically the scroll bar will comes to the down position so that one challenge i have faced and finally using some minimal javascript codes i achieve this okay and uh, okay and to display the charts and uh, 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 download reports and all i just created some separate uh, plsql functions or anonymous blocks and i have executed randomly and i will bring it into the front end screen okay and uh, okay the uh, if you want to go for a, a speech chatbot for example here when you are type some topics right you can able to hear some voices so i have used some open source apis to go for the speech voices for example top four departments the top four departments are accounting br research br sales br operations okay so for this i have used some open source uh, voice apis to uh, uh, to to bring us a uh, talking uh, uh, speaking chatbot okay so likewise you can able to add many informations in the chatbot as in the configuration page and uh, as a end user they can able to uh, use it okay so i hope uh, this will be useful to you and you have liked this video so thank you so much for watching